The purpose of this screencast is to demonstrate how uh, one moves nodes among siblings in uh, FreePlane. Uh, there has been some discussion of late, and uh, given that a picture is worth a thousand words, I thought I'd just put together this little uh, demonstration to make it easier to understand what people are saying. Here we have a simple map uh, with three nodes. And suppose I want to change the relationship of these nodes so that node 1 is at the top, node 2 is in the middle, and node 3 is at the bottom. Uh, this is a very common uh, mind mapping technique. This, uh, this happens a lot. Without this capacity, you really wouldn't have much of a, much of a tool. So let's select node 1. Just by moving my cursor over it, I have my, uh, my preferences set up so that once a cursor highlights it, it's, it's selected. I left click and I drag. As I begin to move, you notice you see these shadows that are showing up in the sibling nodes. Um, when the shadow is at the end of a node, and if I let go, I've ended up moving node 1 now as a child to node 2. Um, but let's go back and let's undo that. Suppose now I moved up and I selected the shadow end or top. Or I select the shadow at the top and let go. Node 1 now is above node 3. If I select node 2 and move it up so the shadow is above node 3, I have now reordered node 1, 2, and 3 in a completely different configuration with just a few uh, click and drags. The little handle on the end, the little oval that shows up here at the end when you move over to the far left of a right hand node, these are designed to move the node relative to siblings without being able to reorder them. This is a completely different function. This allows you to address where you want nodes to appear relative to others. So it's a handle that's designed to move nodes around to give you more space. Um, when nodes are out of uh, relation to one another and you want to restore them, all you have to do is find that little handle on the end and double click. And when you do that, you actually are repositioning the nodes as the pr as the program would natively have have uh, placed them. But you can always override that by by moving them using that little handle. But the little handle is different than moving a whole node. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna restore this to its original configuration and once again demonstrate. I'm gonna take node three. I'm gonna left click. I'm gonna move to the top of node one and let go. I'm going to take node 2 and make it a child of node 3 by moving it up. Wait till the shadow's at the end, and now it's a child. So, hope that clears up some things and makes it easier to understand. Um, it's a great program. I love free playing.